I'm going with Navy on the road, catching 16 and a half against UCF. Insert team. I don't care. It's UCF. It's Navy catching over two touchdowns. This year they've caught, they've they've been, I think, over two touchdowns, over two touchdowns um on the road or on a neutral site five times. And they've I think they've what was the Notre Dame score? Yeah, they lost every no, they lost to Cincy by 10. And then all the other games were decided by seven points or less. So they're five and oh against the spread this year, away from home. Either uh, when they're catching over two touchdowns, go back 20 years. Talked about this on the live show uh, on Saturday. Service Academy catching over two touchdowns, uh, 65% against the spread to limit the possessions. And also, their run D is legit. And they're going to get torched a little bit through the air, but they can at least slow down UCF. And I think that they'll, they'll put some drives together. And it's just a pesky team that anytime. I can catch over two touchdowns with them. I'm taking it. Just like last week, best bet early week is Navy. You guys know what I'm doing. I'm taking a San Diego State, New Mexico over. Uh, <laughs> I I can't get enough of this Aztecs and this offense. And you know what? They're allowing everyone to score. Now, I don't know if we can get New Mexico to help here. 65% rush rate on the season. Um, you know, San Diego State's, you know, pretty good at limiting rush explosiveness. Pretty good at limiting rush. Uh, 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 you know, defensive stuff rate. They're they're good at stopping the run. So I'm not sure if New Mexico contributed this over. So I would say look in the app, but I'll go ahead and make an official play. I'll put it in the app. It's going to be an over 39 and a half, but I think I'm going to put more money on San Diego State team total over whenever that's available later in the week. But officially we'll make it San Diego State, New Mexico over. Uh, the view, the views of Colin Wilson do not uh, reflect this podcast, by the way. Um <laughs> Actually, Colin, I'm gonna. New Mexico is good for like a couple touchdowns, like giving them up too. They're not. Like, they're not good for punt. anything. I'm no, gonna I'm give... still throw a pick six or something. Right. And they'll, they'll drop a punt. And stuck. I I love your pick because because UCF's coming off the huge win against Tulane. They've got the war on I four with dreadful USF next week. Uh, they could already be looking towards the American Championship. So I like that, Colin. I'm gonna I'm gonna take San Diego State over team total. So I'll take the other side of it. And then I'm going to give a bonus pick. Uh, so tail or fade, whatever you want. Uh, UCLA Bruins. When this thing opened, it was they were getting four. I think it's under three now. I still like UCLA. I just think they're the better team. I know they lost to Arizona. You guys have talked about it. You've documented it. USC's defense is horrible. Um, DTR today said, you know, they want to put up 60. <laughs> No trash talk. And they did it last year. I just think UCLA is the better team. They're coming off a loss. Everyone's uh, UCLA is no good anymore. USC is way overrated in my humble opinion. Number eight in the college football playoff rankings. Give me a break. They haven't beat anybody this year. Um, 0-1 against top 25 opponents. They've only played one. So give me UCLA plus the points and then San Diego State team total. (laughs) 